71. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Attorney Reacts. Nephi here with the Law of Esports to react to another video for you guys. So today we're reacting to a video called Fridays with Frank. This looks to be a channel created by the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. If I remember correctly, I think this is in Arizona. So it's interesting to see that they are recording and posting traffic stops, and there's lots of views on them. So let's get started and see what's going on here. Fridays with Frank. 33 episodes. Passing all these cars. Get a good look. That guy right there. Okay. See your driver's license, please. Yes, sir. Can I ask what you pull over for? Absolutely. As soon as I see your driver's license, I will be very happy to tell you. Okay, so it looks like the driver's asking, why did you pull me over for? And he said, I won't tell you until you give me your driver's license, which is interesting. That's not how it works. If, can you tell, first of all, what's your name and your badge number? I'm sorry. I do this for oh, a he's or Okay, so he's already asking for a name and badge number, which is in totally within your right. You don't. I tell you how this works. Let me see your driver's license or I'm going to pull you out of your car and arrest you for failing to provide ID. Wow. So this is how this video is going to be, huh? This is the guy that Pinal County chose to do their traffic stop web series or video series, whatever you want to call it, okay? I could see why a lot of people are watching these videos. As a police officer, you would expect for him to be a little more cordial than what he's doing, especially since he knows that he's being recorded. Imagine the way that he behaves when he's not being recorded. Just uh, totally rude. I get, I get the guys being standoffish, immediately asking for name and badge number, which to officers, oftentimes it's seen as a threat to them. But the way that this guy's reacting, in my opinion, is, is a non-starter for me. This is a legal request. I don't want to hear any other words out of your mouth except here's my driver's license, please. Okay, so it sounds like this guy just knows he's being recorded as being a jerk. He's probably putting on a character. It's hard to tell. I've never seen any of these videos. It's the first time I'm reacting to something like this, uh, but it's interesting. Let's keep watching. Okay, which is totally legal, by the way. You can pull out your phone, you can record. Can you say it again? Absolutely. I need your driver's license so I know who you are. I am not asking you. I am telling you. Give me your driver's license. My name is... I don't want your name. I want a physical ID as required by Arizona law. I am asking you when I'm getting pulled over. I will tell you as soon as I see your driver's license. So every state is a little different as far as whether or not they have to tell you why they are pulling you over. And different states, for the most part, have different laws as far as ID requirements. For most states, if you get pulled over and you're asked to provide an ID, generally that's a lawful order. You have to give them your ID. Why? Because you have to prove to them that you have the right to drive in that state or just in general. You can ask why you're pulling me over, and if a police officer's courteous, he's gonna tell you, hey, look, you know what, you're speeding, or I think you're speeding, give me your ID. The police officers aren't necessarily required under every state to do that. I'm not sure if Arizona requires that, but you definitely have to ID yourself. I think here, this guy's turning this into a ego battle, and it's, you're gonna do what I say, and then I will answer your question. Uh, kind of putting on a show for the cameras, what it looks like. Ah, okay, so here we have a cameraman. Now you see, this kind of bugs me a little bit because I don't think by getting pulled over, you automatically consent to having you appear on a YouTube video. I understand that states are sort of a one party state where you can record, whether it's video or audio and you're in a public space, you can record people. I, I totally get that. But I feel like if you are a police officer and you're pulling people over, it's kind of questionable, right? I know cops was a thing for a long time. It was a very popular show. I myself loved watching cops when I was a kid. But now being an attorney, certain people have certain rights. And uh, this just, mm, I don't know if I like a, a police department turning traffic stops into a YouTube show where they record officers being rude to people. Mm, not sure if that sits well with me. I get some identification of the reason why I'm getting pulled over. Let's use it. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is you're traveling 71 miles an hour in a posted 45 mile per hour zone. We also see registration and current proof insurance. Please. You see, this is one of those things where he, it's, it's an ego thing. He said, do what I tell you to do, and then I'll answer your question. He could have easily told the guy why I pulled him over. He did it immediately upon giving the ID, uh, probably to prevent things from escalating further than what he's already escalated to by taking that attitude that he has. It's, unless it's going to magically appear in your hands, you would have to, right? Okay, so the guy asked, can I reach in my glove 
box, which is a totally valid thing to do as police officers, especially ones that are standoffish, and say, what are you reaching for? And take that as a threat. And so instead, this guy gives him a smart aleck response. Well, yeah, unless it's going to magically appear. Uh, I mean, I just, the way that this guy is behaving during this traffic stop is, is really rubbing me the wrong way. I get the guy was standoffish at the very beginning by asking him for his, immediately asking for his name and badge number and why you pulled him over, but which is, again, that's not illegal. It's uh, maybe not the most pleasant way to initiate a traffic stop, but this guy, again, he's rubbing me the wrong way. I'm sure you guys probably feel the same way if you're watching this video. <sighs> Rolling All his eyes. information still current, still living on Mesa? I don't answer any questions. Okay. Man, I had to get on my phone. You're the one who decided that it needed to be recording, so you could also use it to provide... It's funny how he's giving him a hard time for recording when he himself literally has a guy, camera guy behind him recording this, this entire interaction. It's just it's bad taste. I like current proof insurance. He wants me to update it. Well, you're required to provide it in a amount of time that would be... Right, it's coming up right now. Okay. You see, he's just looking for things to argue with this guy about. Don't ask permission to update it, just do it and show it to him. That's all you're required to do. You have to get his permission to update anything, just do it. So while I'm sitting here and I am a public servant, is there any other questions I can answer for you, reference or contact? Okay, just want to make sure. You can tell he's trying to be kind of funny with his facial expressions for the camera. Shaking his head. You keep working on that. There's no reason to be confrontational like that. There was no part of my contact with him was confrontational. Super simple and cordial, and he just, for some reason... This is exactly what I'm talking about. To police officers, whenever you say, why did you pull me over and you ask for a name and badge number to them, that's a confrontational approach. You know, it's totally within your legal rights to ask for that information. And so upon having that exchange, the police officer decided to, okay, you want to be like that? Then let me be a jerk. And that's why the interaction happened the way that it did. Do I think police officers have better training and not react that way? Yes. Do I think this guy took it over the top? Yes. Do I think he's doing it because he knows he's being recorded and there's a camera there? Yes, as well right? Because this creates entertainment. But the thing is, as a police officer, your job is not to be entertaining for people on YouTube. Your job is to do your duties as a civil servant and do them in a way that doesn't embarrass or doesn't become confrontational with the people that you are paid to protect. So again, I've said it two or three times, this is rub this, this video and this channel in general is rubs me the wrong way. Just can't seem to understand that there's a sequence of events that transpires here in Pinal County. And if he doesn't like that, maybe he needs to move back to Mesa. That approach that if you don't like the way that we do things here, you should move back to where you come from. Terrible attitude to have. Again, the fact that this is the guy that Pinal County chose to be their face of their YouTube channel, shame on you, Pinal County. Does he record me? And I asked him, hey, I need your driver's license. He's like, I'd be happy to give it to you. But before that, when he wasn't recording me, he absolutely wouldn't. So... It's not that he wouldn't. He asked you to tell him why you were stopping him. You refused. That's why you just, you can't believe everything that you see online is because there was that whole entire contact that happened and then he starts to record and all of a sudden he's just the nicest guy and I'm this big mean guy that's just demanding stuff. I would, Buddy, your attitude was already like that before he turned on the video. Uh, if anything, his demeanor did change. I'll give you that. His demeanor did change a little bit, but then again, your demeanor was confrontational. Real quick, I just wanted to say that Attorney Tom slash Attorney Reacts content is now on Spotify. We just launched a partnered show, link in the description. Go check it out. Now, back to the video. I would imagine he will interpret the fact that he's getting a ticket as a result of his terrible attitude when really it's just the fact that he is just violating Arizona motor vehicle law. So in case you're wondering what 71 miles an hour at 1,065 feet looks like on a laser, that's what it is and that was his speed so after i locked him in on this i watched him drive past me never lost sight of him pulled in right behind him so i'm sure this is the type of guy that wants to find some sort of i don't know but something to fight in this there's also certain calibration requirements when did he calibrate it how often did he calibrate it? did he calibrate it properly those are things that ticket lawyers uh, know about and can fight in court of course he didn't mention any of that because most people don't know that kind sir I have a contact phone number for you with an area code first please 
Sure, absolutely. Okay. Well, all the other supervisors. Hold on, no. Copy your no, comment. you can contact one by phone. But if I'm requesting a supervisor, you deny it? You can, I can give you the contact phone number yeah. for the sheriff's office. Absolutely. It's area code 520-866-5912. You see, talk about confrontational. He asked for a supervisor and he said no. And instead gave him the contact information to allow him to contact a supervisor. Now, again, I, I don't know why the guy in this uh, vehicle is being as confrontational as he is. It seems to be a pretty standard traffic stop. But uh, the things that he's doing are not illegal. These are things that you are perfectly within your legal right to do. Request a supervisor, request for his name and badge number, request why you're being pulled over and not talk, right? Telling him, I've given you all the information that I need to give you. Those things are, he is correct and it's perfectly within his right. But then again, you're gonna, if you have a police officer like this one that sort of has a chip on his shoulder and wants to put out entertaining content for YouTube people to watch, this is the kind of interactions you're gonna get. So again, Pinal County, you are essentially having this guy react this way because you know it's gonna get you views. Shame on you. Five, nine, one, two. Yep. Do you normally, just a couple questions for you. Do you normally threaten to pull people out of the car just for them asking why they got pulled over? 100% yeah. when they refuse to provide identification like a, you did. But isn't that a secondary offense? Arizona's not a stop and ID state. Um, like I Arizona revised statutes, the operator of a motor vehicle who fails or refuses to exhibit the operator's driver's license, dot, dot, dot. They left out a lot of information there, is guilty of a class two misdemeanors. Again, he never refused to provide his identification. He asked for clarification. He asked, why did you pull me over? Again, this is one of those things where I'm going to interpret the law the way that I want to so I can support myself or my police officer from looking like a jerk that isn't following the law. I asked you why I was being pulled over. That's correct. You didn't want to tell me until I use it as a predecessor. That's correct, because I need to know who I'm talking to first. Well, hold on a second. Go ahead. Her civil rights and laws. Oh, okay. And yeah, unless I... <laughs> Come on, man. If you're going to start pulling out laws, you know, out of your pocket, you have to make sure that you know them. Again, props to this guy for at least knowing most of his rights. You know, if you're going to try to say, per the law, at least make sure that you know what you're referencing. Otherwise, you got to pick a different battle a different day. Learn your rights a little bit better so you can educationally argue with this guy or uh, I don't know what the word is. Make sure you 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 know what you're talking about. I am being arrested or unless I'm being Well, failing arrested. to provide you, failing you, to provide you, evidence of identity is a criminal offense. It's a secondary offense. Doesn't matter. It is, it's it an offense. It, it, it doesn't matter if it's a secondary offense. If you're just walking down the street and somebody asks you to ID yourself, unless they have a probable cause or articulable suspicion that you've committed a crime, you're not required to provide your ID and then they well they can't arrest you, but is it going to be enforced? I don't think so. Again, this is your typical attitude of police officer. This guy's on a power trip. He's considered the driver a first aggressor. I mean, it's just, it's it's ridiculous. This entire interaction is is absurd and it's being televised, right? Maybe not on TV, but it's being posted publicly. Again, this is sort of a uh, sheriff's department of a county in Arizona, just turning this into a spectacle, which again, it's not the purpose of police officers. You're not being paid to create content. You're paid to serve and protect. Officer Stoop, if, if, you want, if you will let me speak and then I'll let you speak, is that all right? No. You don't want to let me speak? No. Okay. No, I'm not here for a back and forth. Uh, well, this isn't I talk and you talk. You can't, you it, can't. it is, absolutely Normally, it is. Normally, per the civil rights, per fourth this amendment. This has nothing to do with civil rights. Per the fourth amendment of the Constitution of the United States, which you hold an oath to uphold, you can. I know, it's very, very disappointing because I like to follow the rules too. Obviously, I don't, I don't count the rules. However. Well, you like to follow rules except for speed limits I, I, that you don't I, like it's, to follow. It's, it's objective or subjective. That's the that's the curse. Okay, so okay. if if so, we're provide, gonna if we want to play word games, we can play word games here. We can. We can play word games as long as you want. Absolutely. Just for the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, to secure my own rights to hold my identity, unless especially in a state that's not a stop and ID state, aren't you supposed to tell me why you're pulling me over? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I might be wrong, but I think Arizona is a stop and ID state. They're one of the states where I think that's legal. Again, don't hold that against me if I'm incorrect, but I think they are a stop and ID state. I have no, there is absolutely no requirement for me to tell you. I told you as a common courtesy because it's what I normally do during traffic stops. I know, but it's what you normally do. That's not what the law says you do. It is not a law. It is. It's not a stop and ID state. It is. It's not a law. Okay. Uh, we, have, so, we have a difference. We can, we can agree to... Uh, and you are certainly going to get one. So, 
All the information up the top is yours. Vehicles information is here. It says today at 10.05, you're 71 and a posted 45. Now, RMP stands for reasonable and prudent, and that's what the speed limit is. And you're 71 miles an hour and a posted 45. Reasonable and prudent, by the way, it doesn't mean speed limit. It means that uh, the flow of traffic. And so, again, this is one of the big things that, that ticket lawyers fight is if everybody's going the speed limit, it would be unsafe for you to go at a substantially slower rate, even if that is the speed limit. So, again, I'm not going to give you legal advice, but this is the kind of stuff that a ticket lawyer will be able to help you with. Got you on laser, the most accurate of all speed detection devices. You have a um, I'm sorry? You have a printout or a screenshot? No. I have a screenshot, yes. Can I have that? You cannot. Okay. Um, because I have no way to print it out in my car. Okay. So, uh, the direction you're facing right now is eastbound in the number one lane. State Route 24 at Meridian was the closest intersection. Your citation is for speaker and the reasonable and prudent. You're cited into the Santan Justice Court, which is located up in Chandler. You have a court date only if you wish to appear on the first day of November at 9 o'clock in the morning. If not, you can phone number right here leads you to the court. Knowledgeable court staff there will be able to answer any questions you have, including giving you any sort of information on traffic score. This right here is the driver's license, the registration to which you provided, and an exact carbon copy of the citation. All right. Any further questions I can answer for you today, sir? All right. And uh, just so you know, my uh, sergeant is Sergeant Erickson. He's the person that you're going to... Thanks for putting your window up. They say you don't <laughs> want to talk to me anymore. I really hope that this goes to court. I hope, I hope with every fiber of my being that I get to go and see him again. Um, because there's not a judge anywhere in the state of Arizona that would entertain that tomfoolery that just happened there. Asserting your rights to this guy is considered tomfoolery. You are gonna have people that you pull over that are gonna be more difficult than others. But having people that know their rights and make lawful requests, like name and badge number, asking for a supervisor, it's not tomfoolery, right? It's within your right to do it. Uh, this guy's entire sort of demeanor, his opinion of what people's legal rights are is frustrating to see. And it's also sort of ironic to see that the uh, Pinal County uh, Sheriff's Department is displaying his attitude and his demeanor during traffic stops for everybody to see. This particular video, if I'm not mistaken, I think has like 700 and some thousand views. And I can tell you one thing, it's not because they like this guy so much and they think he's entertaining, it's because of the way that this entire traffic stop was handled. Now, as you can tell, the comments are turned off, which is kind of funny because again, they have no interest in what the public thinks about what they are doing. They're doing this for one thing and one thing only, to make themselves feel good about themselves and to potentially make money on this channel. Again, Sheriff's Department is not a business to put out content and create content. The purpose is to serve and protect it. Shame on you, uh, Officer Sloop, for your behavior during this traffic stop. Do I think that the guy was necessarily pleasant? Not necessarily. I could see why you would take that demeanor, but I think the way that you handled the entire traffic stop could have been handled in a much better way. But, you know, it is what it is. You see this happen more often than not. You just, in this particular instance, see the way that he handled it while the camera in his face. I can only imagine what he does whenever he's not with a camera in his face. But it is what it is, and it's it's sort of uh, sad to see that this is what uh, counties are putting content out there for people to see. It shouldn't be confrontational. Police officers, I understand, have a very important duty. It doesn't have to be confrontational. You're serving, you're protecting, you're enforcing traffic laws. It's important for everybody's safety. I'm not saying it's not, but the way that you do it definitely matters. Do I think you're a jerk? Mm, I don't think so. I think you're putting on a character for the YouTube channel that you're you know displaying or showing with the Pinal County. But again, you gotta do better, man. You gotta do better. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching another video. I will be back and we'll be showing you guys another. Feel free to click on any one of these videos that we have for you guys to watch. And I will see y'all on the next one. Big verdict.